X's and O's. You know, anytime I hear New Jersey, I think of what exit, right? So Tom's River, New Jersey, home of Major League Baseball stars like Todd Frazier and Al Leiter. Wow. Big have, Al Leiter, have baby. May, yeah, my Leiter, Marlins, no hitter here, world champion. See anyone, anyone else? Anyone else uh, big from uh, from Tom's River, New Jersey? Why don't we get to the guy's question? Well, you know, I was, about, jump- I was about to say, Felipe, Felipe from Tom's River who drops go. us a little email. Says, hi, I love the show. Good start, Felipe. What travel destinations in the United States or abroad should you definitely go to? And which ones should you definitely avoid? With all the different smoking laws and even the brush fires in certain states, I don't know where you can or can't smoke <laughs> without getting a arrested felipe fair question we have felipe. got some answers for you yeah yeah i think so why don't we why don't we do this why don't we each just give like you know a must go to destination because it's so cigar friendly and then a maybe a void or or maybe some tips on on how to work around a not so cigar friendly destination okay. how about let's do let's do it like that all right cool all right, so I'll I'll start us off. I mean, I mean, obviously, we're biased because we live yeah. in Miami in South Florida, and it seems like all the big all the big players have factories here. But Miami is is an unbelievable well, place. Not factories, but headquarters. Headquarters here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, this is this is an unbelievable place to come. Uh, no doubt about and, it. And, and and vacation, and it's very cigar friendly. You can light up your stick anywhere. Uh, you know, Tampa is also a great place, but also places like uh, Los Angeles, which. May not necessarily, that's where I'm from originally, it may not be smoking friendly, but they still have great lounges where you can go, fire up your stri- stick, have a cocktail and relax. So I would, you know, you always check, check your, you know, Google it, check what the local ordinances are. But I would definitely say South Florida, uh, Tampa somehow is considered South Florida, but you know, I, I, apparently there's, some, yeah. You know, well, they're, they're univer- yeah, University, University of, of South, South Florida, Florida is, is in Tampa, Tampa yeah, which yeah. Can, but, but you know, sorry, what? it's not. But apparently I asked somebody, why in the hell is that? And that's because at the time when the University of South Florida, was, that was great, it was the most Southern <laughs> university in that's the state funny. of Florida. I didn't Gainesville, know Gainesville, Florida State, that was the most Southern university. Wow. When was that founded? Before the that. 20s? Right, I guess. Before, clear, clear before air conditioning. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't, they didn't get air conditioning in Miami until the 40s, by the way. I would have nuts. I would have died. I would have exploded. Yeah, did I tell you why the, uh, air conditioning was invented? Mm-hmm. For the Jimmy. Per- no, for, for <laughs> yes, the purposes of yes. removing humidity from the air. It wasn't even f- to cool it as much as it was about humidity because it was at a printing press. And Willis Carrier invented the uh, bueno. the air conditioner to uh, to prevent the pages from sticking together. Look at the big So look at that. Eric. Look at no, that. it's print. Look, we print a magazine. Ah, see? So if you want to see how good our air conditioning ah. is. He's a trivial pursuit. Go to cigarsnob.com and order yourself a He's a trivial pursuit sandbagger. He's such a sandbagger. And and cigarsnobmag.com. Cigarsnob.com. Cigarsnob.com and order yourself a magazine. And then you can see for yourself just how good our air conditioning is. The power of air conditioning on Cigar Snob Magazine. You see how that works? Uh, Now... All right, back, the, to, back to one Felipe's of the wor- question. Here, this surprised me. One of the worst places that I've experienced for cigars is one of my favorite cities in the world. And that's Toronto. Up there, super can't smoke anywhere indoors. Yeah. Uh, they, I don't even know. They have, they have very many lounges. They have cigar shops where you can go buy a cigar, but you can't even smoke it in the cigar shop. You got to yeah. okay, get out. Thanks for the stick. Get out. That's yep. crazy. So again, I would not recommend Toronto if you're a cigar smoker. If you're or, hoping to smoke cigars on that trip, right, right. That's yeah. you know, again, you can go to Toronto, you go to the Partagas, uh, you know, stores, you can get Cuban cigars there because you're in Canada. But if you want to actually sit down and smoke, you know, in an environment, probably Toronto is not going to be your spot. Yeah, Ivan and I were doing a a piece on Detroit travel many years ago, and we crossed over into. Windsor, right? It was called it was Windsor, oh, Canada. Yeah, Windsor. I've been to and Windsor. we crossed over into Windsor and uh, we we're like, oh, how about we get a couple cigars? So we walked into the shop <laughs> and Ivan, you know, whatever, we picked our cigars and Ivan goes to cut it. And the guy behind the counter is like, well, what are you doing, sir? <laughs> what are you doing? And he's like, why? He's like, you can't, you can't light that here. <laughs> he's like, Oh, not even in here? It was like a, for us, it was a total culture shock. Like, what are you talking it's, it's about? It's like that movie. Gentlemen. Wait, we're in a cigar shop. Wait, what do you mean? Gentlemen, there's no fighting in the war room. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's what it is. I'll they never got, forget that moment. It was, we were like, what are you talking about, sir? We sat in two folding chairs in front <laughs> of the in store. In front of the store. It was 
It was sad. It was a sad, one of the saddest moments in Cigar Snob history. In Toronto, when I was there, the hotel that I was at, there was a park across the street. Literally, we're smoking Partagas Cuban cigars, okay? We, one of the closest things to perfection you're going to find. And we're sitting in a park across from the hotel smoking the cigar because you couldn't smoke in the bar. You couldn't smoke it. I mean, ridiculous. We got a bottle from the mini bar. We looked half homeless, you know, hanging out there at, at you know, one o'clock in the morning in a, in a park, but. Yep. At least they let you smoke in the park because mm-hmm. there's some places that right, don't right. even let you smoke in the park. Oh, city of Santa Monica so, in, in, in in L.A. Can't smoke. Good segue here because I was about to, you had mentioned California being a good place. We were out there. I was out there recently. And man, if you're not, okay, if you're not in a designated like area and the areas are, are very limited, if you're outside by a foot, there you can't smoke. Right. And it's it's very, very hard. Like, And, and everybody has an attitude about it. And you you can do it like just like, not even knowing, and they'll they'll come attack you like if you were yeah like you're doing something and whatever. So it's not my favorite place, and I know there's so many beautiful places in California right to smoke. Uh, but for me, it's it's not one of my favorite places. Well, to what go is to. what is one of your favorites? Uh, I would say. So again, I think Jim mentioned that it depends what you're doing. So from a lounge perspective, I love New York. I mean, I know he's in Tom River. He go, he's probably been to New York a lot. But I love that old school like lounge, uh, wood, uh, like paneling, Carnegie Club, Carnegie Club, all those Club I, Mac. I love the New York lounges. Uh, but from but from a like a, a nature and also like a club vibe and stuff, the Dominican Republic is great. Mm. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah, yeah the DR, uh, Santo Domingo and Santiago are both amazing. Uh, and, and cigars are like welcome just about everywhere. So I, I like, uh, like to me, the most interesting place to smoke cigars in the U.S. is Ybor City. Mm. You know, outside, Ybor, of, outside of Tampa, yeah. We're, yeah, but Ybor specifically, because Tampa at large is, is just, you know, it's a bigger, it's a bigger city. But Ybor, this tiny little like cigar making mecca. Right. Uh, you walk and like everyone's got a cigar in their mouth. <laughs> you know, like if you get there early enough, there's like street sweepers and and guys that are like hosing down sidewalks and stuff, making the the city look better. And those guys are all doing their job with a cigar in their mouth. I can't wait you to know? go. I'm actually going this weekend. I can't wait to go. Yeah, Ebor Ebor is a cool place in that way, and there it's just little small cigar factory after small cigar factory like that in every corner. It's a it's a cool place to if you are if you are a lover of premium cigars and, mm-hmm. and the whole lifestyle around it, it's worth a visit, you know, no matter even if you're Felipe up in Tom's River, it's worth visiting because it's such a unique place. Miami is also very easy to smoke everywhere and you can also visit cigar factories. So so that that's cool as well. So I was, as you mentioned earlier, I was just in Spain. Mm-hmm. Spain as a country has cracked down on, on smoking tremendously. And so the government regulates tobacco sales so much that it doesn't even in most cases doesn't make sense for a guy to invest in or a woman to invest in opening a store that's crazy so all the uh, the only places to get cigars in spain are these estancos right these are they're not government run but they're they're highly highly regulated cigar stores uh, or tobacco stores and most of them don't even have a selection of premium cigars Mm. some do but uh however as bad as that side is in terms of enjoying cigars, Spanish cities are typically so walkable. Oh, like yeah. Madrid is a Madrid is a giant city with a, it's a very just a giant footprint, but you can walk everywhere. It's, it's a very walkable city, and no one bats an eye when you're walking by. Even though there's not many people smoking cigars, nobody really cares. For the most part, you can walk through any streets in Madrid and sit on cafes outside. Nobody cares that you're smoking. And if you're a documenter, so that's, that's pretty cool. If you're a documenter, if it's you know, if you're taking pictures for Instagram or you know, you're you're putting it up on on your on your board or whatever. We don't call those documenters. We call them content creators. Ah, influencation. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine you're taking a picture of yourself in front of a 500 year old castle or a 600 year old this or you know? Um, oh, the numbers are the numbers are far greater than um, that. Yeah, a thousand year old church, yeah. and you're outside just you know, firing up a nice villager. You know that that's to me, that's where I guess living in Miami and anything well, you, anything over fifty years old, they knock it down here. But you know, that's the part. That yeah, you walk by certain certain spots in Madrid, and you're like, oh my god, look at that! It's like a Roman wall that that used to be here, uh, or you know, 
ramparts or whatever. And you're like, oh, when is that from? Oh, 120 AD. <laughs> and you're like, okay, hey. <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> you know, it's interesting. In our, I believe it's our March, April issue of this year, we did do a uh, travel story on Switzerland. That's right. That's and, right. That's and a good place, point. And, and all the places you can go mm-hmm. smoke in Switzerland. Because you were talking about um, smoking in Spain. And I'm like, I wonder if it's just a European thing or is it very it's is, not, it, is it very country by country? It is very much uh, country specific. And right. Switzerland is a great place to go to smoke cigars. That's actually a good point, which is where Villiger is from anyway. Right. But uh, but Switzerland, you'll find... So I, I went to Geneva a few years back and I spent one night in Geneva on the way to, to Austria. And it was that uh, famous time where, where Eric made peace with all the cigar families in the world. Yes, it's yeah. The Geneva cigar <laughs> treaties of yeah. all, all times. And also, I land in Geneva and I just, <laughs> I'm going to spend one night and I just, I literally pick a hotel mm-hmm. that looks like I didn't do any research on it. I'm just going to spend one night, just nice enough to give me some rest while I, you know, get ready for the train the next day to Austria. And so I get in my hotel, I check in and I look around the corner. I'm like, wait a second. That's a, that's a smoking lounge. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And I asked the guy at the front desk, I'm like, is that, is that a smoking lounge? He says, yeah, it is. And I said, and you can smoke cigars? He's like, yeah, preferably cigars. <laughs> good like, man. Good what? answer. Good answer. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so you do find that in, in Switzerland, which is really cool uh, and not that common nowadays. Right. So, so thank you for adding that. That's a good point, Ivan. So give me an honorable mention of other great places. Oh, Atlanta. There's so, so many. many, so many places to smoke, you know? Yeah. And it's got such a cool smoking scene with, oh, it's just, it's such a variety of places and people and it's, it's a fun, it's a fun town to smoke. Chicago. Chicago. The only cold Chicago. weather city I would ever even contemplate living in. Chicago. Great cigar. You almost town. said consummate. <laughs> no, I said, I, I had some consummate before I came over here. Uh, some soup. Oh, oh okay. well, you know, fancy. Um, but Chicago, amazing. Great lounges. And again, talk about history and, 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 and buildings and everything you could, you know, take a picture of yourself smoking a cigar with. Oh, right? the architecture yeah. in Chicago is just unreal. He sends one of yours to the hospital. You send one of his to the morgue. That's right. That's the Elliot Chicago Ness. Way. Oof. That, that, the good. Untouchables. Uh, the Untouchables, yeah. And you, my friend, what is your uh, uh, wild card? You know what used to be great is uh, New Orleans, and now they've they've tightened up uh, the smoking restrictions well, there. But we're about to go. We're about to go next year for. Uh, but that used to be a very very trip. cool place to smoke cigars. It's still it's still okay, but it used to be better. Las Vegas, Jim's uh, yeah. second, second home, home yeah. that's right, uh, is another good spot. I mean, they have new lounges there coming up every every day. It seems, yeah, they are. You know, they are. There's some there's some good stuff out there. They had a lot of weed smoking, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's that's the one problem. You get out there, I'm like, well, I guess I can't change job for 30 days after landing in Las Vegas. <laughs> I, I guess that's that's that. So, do you guys think we answered Felipe's question? Yeah, I think we did. Like, Felipe, we gave Early. you we gave you a yeah. lot to work. I with mean, there, he meant he mentioned brush fires, which is which is a. a it's a valid concern, right? Like when when we were in uh, in Big Bear, right, California. And you have we'll, no and we'll, idea. Yeah, we don't. We're not used to that because our humidity down right. here is so exactly. high that you know. So sure. what? So what? Yeah, I guess maybe without getting too far off the the trailer. So what do you do if you're smoking outside, and you're maybe you're in the, and you're in the forest or you're in a grassy area? I mean, where do you ash? Do you, do you ash on the ground and make no, sure I, you I step think, on it? Or? I don't think ashing is the problem. I think it's when you dispose of a sure. cigar. That is still lit, right? And and you've got you know very dry conditions, man. Just pour water on it. Don't yeah, just exactly. L- make sure that it's out before you throw it out. You can't really uh, smoke in in those places where you've got uh, like a, a national forest or something like that. It, yeah, I, I would not do it. Yeah, don't. Be I, in- I don't want to. I don't want to run the risk of right. causing that s- large scale damage. Right. Uh, because I wanted to smoke a cigar, but I'm so. not. But I'm not going to put the, the the place at risk. Like for example, if I was on a yeah. golf course, right? I'm like, God, I'm going to smoke a cigar on a golf course. But I also know the proper etiquette of how to dispose a cigar. You know, I'm not going to fling it into the fling it, fling into it into the into fucking the, forest. Into of course not. Yeah, of, I'm not going. Of course not. Right. I'm going like, to smoke this the cigar very responsibly, and after I'm done, I'm going to put it out in a thing of water or whatever yeah, and, you, and you guys are gonna think I, you guys are gonna think i'm crazy but what uh, what i often do is it, i get i sometimes i'll bring if i'm gonna be outside i will bring a little sand little tiny little sandwich bags and i'll put i'll have it with water i'll put some water in it 
Did you walk around with a sandwich bag with water? Well, in, in my bag, or I'm not in my pocket or anything <laughs> like that. And and if I'm done, I will, I will put it in there and I will put it in the sandwich bag. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm again. Not traditional, not not may, may, maybe maybe that's another industry, you know. They, I know. I think you might be Calvino Cal, Calvino Campo Industries. <laughs> yeah, maybe we do some sort of a, a of a bag that's that's self liquid or it's, it's it's already wet and you just put in your cigars. Hmm. Don't steal Don't that. Don't listen at home. to business ideas Don't. from Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm, I'm going to say right now? What did you learn today? <laughs> Don't listen to Jimmy's business ideas. So I got Don't let him talk idea. you into it. Oh my listen, God. I've got a lot of friends in the boxing community that are retired. I've got a great plan for you guys. I've got some retirement investment for you. Yeah. Don't even think about that. I was just thinking of the uh, the bag opening with all that liquid <laughs> in your pocket with all that nasty. That's exactly what I was like. What do you mean you're walking <laughs> well, around no, with these No, no. I mean, just, I, you're not, it's not full. It's just a In your back pocket? And you, <laughs> hey, brother, I think you're leaking. <laughs> So yeah, but, you know it's 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 all right. Or and don't and certainly don't. And if you're walking, don't throw it in somebody's garbage can either. Because no, you know, all of a sudden, hey, hey bro, your 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 garbage can's on fire. <laughs> See you later. Speaking of which, it's time yeah for some Villiger. That's right. Well, we've been doing Villiger. This has been the Villiger show, and this Miami Villiger is by far one of my favorites. My other favorite is the 1888. The 1888, the year Villiger Cigars was founded, and the date that gave rise to the first handmade premium cigar to bear the Villiger name, the Villiger 1888. And now the two newest additions to the historic line, the, Villiger, the new Villiger 1888 Nicaragua and the 1888 Dominican Republic. My favorite of the two is the Nicaragua for sure, and, and Miami. Uh, it delivered notes of roasted nuts and rich mocha and a sweet caramel finish. A very complex smoke with loads of flavor. The Villiger 1888 Nicaragua is made at the Villiger de Nicaragua, the Vi Villiger's newest cigar factory in Esteli, Nicaragua. So if you're in the mood for either the Nicaragua or the Dominican Republic, go out and try either one of the Villiger 1888s today. All right, thanks for watching Cigar Snob on YouTube. If you enjoyed that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to check out more of our content, go to the channel and you'll see mail time videos, podcasts, interviews with Cigar Insiders, and photo shoots with smoking hot models. And if you want even more Cigar Snob in your life, we will print a magazine and ship it straight to your house. It's a crazy idea, I know, but we're trying this out. CigarSnob.com to do that. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you later.